What's going on guys? So we're gonna do some uh, corporate cringe hunting today. We're gonna take some viewer submissions. So if you got submission, uh, you could DM it to me on Instagram. You could drop it in the chat. And uh, you know, you guys can suggest hashtags that you would like me to look up. Um, anyways, yeah, so I always forget to plug stuff at the beginning of my stream. So just like, I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> Go hit me up on Instagram. I need 10,000 on Instagram so that I can link to my videos on there because everyone uses different platforms more often than others. So if you want to go follow me on Instagram, that'd be dope. Um, yeah, and then I have a bunch of links in the description you can check out too. Did I forget anything, Mike? I always forget, Mike gets so mad. New Staples logo was pretty cringe. Saw it on your Discord, yep. First time caught a stream and it's the corporate cringe. Yo, happy, happy corporate cringe, uh, what was it? Tuesday. Wait till there's more people. Nah, it's all good, Mike. What am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anything? I think we're good. Um, yeah, so let me open a new Notion page here and we can start getting down some hashtags we wanna search. I call it CC2420. And hashtags, what should we look? The curry, what's up, dude? I'm good, man. We're gonna look up some uh, corporate cringe today. Happy birthday, Ronaldo. Wait, what? Lewis, thanks for being here. Audrey, welcome. Tobias, what's up, dude? Y'all, I got like some, ton I got tons of haters. Tons of haters. Go, if you look at my Instagram story, I put some screenshots. Oh, dude, they just like, lately the videos have been doing better than average, so, uh, more than average haters. What's up, Night Quaker? Here, look, let me read you one. The cringe, Nick, what's up? Let me read you one of these. This is a good meme. I post a lot of behind the stuff, behind the scenes stuff on Instagram. Look, here's one. Let me pause it. Can you see it? Hold on. Does it work? I don't know. It says, you suck as a software engineer. What's it? 33 minutes of whining horrible. 28 years old and such a whiner. Get a job what really exists. And you know what we say to those. Okay, boomer. I'm in the UK. What's the bare minimum in regards to qualification? I need to apply as a junior dev. There is no bare minimum. Every job has different bare minimums. Uh, you got to apply and find out what they hit you with and see if you can do it. And if you can't do it, you know what to do. Autofocus fail. Nah, it's too bright. Oh, yeah. I made a TikTok clip about uh, corporate is kindergarten and all the boomers on TikTok. Oh, man. They're like, I don't understand. That's what that's what a job is. Some people are happy at their jobs. I'm like, I never said that. I just said it's kindergarten. Everything except for the last one, Night Quaker. <laughs> Tim, what's up, dude? Been watching the channel for a while. Just got offered a job last week. Starting two weeks. All right, dude. Just don't get comfortable. Wayola, what's up? What's a, what's a corporate identity designer? Is that a thing? Does that exist? All right, so hit me with some hashtags you'd like me to search. And if you'd like to get notified notified for the future live streams, hit the bell. I always forget to say that too. Everyone's like, I didn't get notified. I missed it. Now, I think I get a lot of hate because uh, I think I hit. I just hit too close to home, you know. And when when you make people think about their opinions, it's basically you're telling them that they could be wrong, and people don't like that. So, do you have any video on ridiculous take home tests, like two weeks long, and they ghost you? Uh, yeah. If you if you get a two weeks long take home test, they're just using you to do free work. 
Cap Gemini is a good company. Why say the contrary? Uh, Cap Gemini makes you play with Legos to get to know your coworkers. So I'm gonna pass on that. Is Zuckerberg a good developer or marketer? Uh, I mean, he's a billionaire. That's really it. Doesn't matter. You can be whatever he wants at this point. Oh, just search up the classic company family. Oof, oof, oof. Headphones. They're Sony WH-CH 007s or 700s. Yeah. All right. Hashtag company family. All right, let's take a list here. What else should we look? Facebook has plenty of corporate cringe too on company pages. Why not check there? Facebook, I don't know. I guess I could make a fake Facebook account. Bro, the, the news on LinkedIn is n like explaining you were fired or let go. No, you don't ever explain. That's what you do. What's up? Got offered a job with SummitWorks. Tech is entry level full stack dev with cloud tech. Thoughts and opinions. I don't, what's SummitWorks? Let's look it up. I'll share screen in a sec. You don't play with Legos, you're not being a team player. Like, what? who comes, oh. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a website specifically for HR and it's just a bunch of like ideas like that. Let's look it up, let's look it up. Let's hit up Glassdoor real quick. Hashtag crushing it. Oh. All right. Glassdoor Summit works. 71% approve of CEO. Let me make sure. All right. Do you recommend Q Kids? Uh, I think that's teaching English, right? Hashtag millennials. <laughs> LinkedIn should just be hashtag boomers. That's all LinkedIn is. But I'll put it, I'll add it to the list. Uh, so we want reviews. They openly say that they will fake your resume. Wait, what? What? Is this a recruiter? What does that even mean? Consulting companies for freshers. That doesn't sound very good. Trainers just read off PowerPoints and you're required to lie on your resume. Uh, all right, so... I mean, what can I say about that? There are no pros. Poor in immigration processing. So apparently this is a company that like takes people from other countries and then makes you work for really cheap. One of the just, it's a company, that's what it seems like is a, I guess, abusing the uh, H1B, right? So they bring people over and they work them to the, to the bone and then you can't quit or you have to go back. Garrett, what's up, dude? Corporate kindergarten is not going to come up on LinkedIn. What is a fresher? Uh, it's a term for people that just graduated college getting their first job or also a term for first year students. Is it possible to have your first dev role remote? Yes. My remote job that I had when I did React, my coworker, it was, a, it was her first job. It was remote. Watching from my corporate desk in office despite being sick. I'm not allowed to work at home. You're going to get the whole office sick. That's the best when you explain that. And they're like, well, we just don't. It's not our policy. Like, well, can you question the policy? Well, it's not in the handbook. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> yeah, there. so like I try not to get too political, right? But there are some companies that uh, hire a bunch of people outside of the country and then they make those people work 100 hour weeks for like almost no pay. And of course those people wanna come from their country to this country because they assume they're gonna get a better life, right? So they think it's gonna be good, but then the company here ends up just exploiting them. And, and they're like, well, if you quit, you have to leave, right? 
we sponsored your visa, and if you quit, there goes your visa, and you got to go back home, and your family will be disappointed in you, you know? I worked with some coworkers. Uh, they weren't with a company that was, like, abusing them, but they had worked with those in the past. And so every time they lost a job, they were freaking out. They were like, I have to leave in 60 days. Like, you know? You can't you can't get mad at the people for wanting a better life. You but you can get mad at the companies for abusing the loopholes in the system. And then like, you know, there are always people that are like, "Well, those are jobs that Americans could do." Like, but they don't want to do it. Like no one would take those jobs anyways, you know? Because they're crap jobs. So it's like it's not really a good argument in my opinion. It's amazing you're controversial by saying things like sick days. Yeah, exactly. All right, what hashtags? I got company family crushing it. Millennials. You get the same conditions and you get three months to find a different place. Yeah, no, that's not how it works here in the U.S. Uh, you get like 60 days and then you get deported. And if you get deported from the U.S., you're basically banned. <laughs> For years so you can never come back so it's like let's say you're working at a job on an h1b visa here and you absolutely hate it because you thought you were gonna have a better life but you're working 200 hours every week you know and then then they fire you you got 60 days to find something else or willingly go back hope you have savings or you're gonna get deported and then you're gonna be banned from the united states so it's rough it's rough you got to get like the, these consulting firms, you know, these are not like they'll take advantage of you. I feel like you could, there's a lot of other ways to enter the US, like um, investing here or an E2 visa. Um, there's other ways, but you know, yeah. Check team player. Oof, that's a good one. It's a weird song. Please hold. All right. What's an E2 visa? An E2 visa is a visa that you can get if you invest $100,000 into a company in the United States. But all you need is $100,000. No, no big deal. But there's other ways. Corporate cringe doesn't compare to the miserable state that manual labor jobs will put you in. Yeah, I worked manual labor jobs. Um, and... They still had corporate cringe. Um, the thing, like my favorite meme is when people say, um, hard work, just work hard and you'll be successful. And if like, if that was the truth, then everyone that worked in construction would be millionaires, but it's not like that at all. <laughs> work hard, play hard. Yeah. Hard work is not the key to success. It's working smart. Have you ever heard the phrase, uh, lazy engineers are the best engineers? Because they automate them. They automate everything they can. They do as little as possible. Try to figure out a way not to work. You know, try to work smart. Uh, what do you get with that visa for 100K? Uh, you can come to the US and work. Employee of the month. I got that. Onboarding first day, new job, Charlotte. Those are good. Let me get those. Don't work hard, blend in. I mean, that depends if you just want to be a ghost at the company. At big companies, you can just kind of be a number and you can take advantage of that. But Josh, how do you work smart? You focus on the things that give you the most benefit. 
don't don't do what you're I mean I don't know I'm not gonna like I would say don't do what you're told <laughs> like you should always question everybody about everything and people don't like that so you gotta play the game you're second to home <laughs> oh god Like I would always question management at all of my jobs on any decision that they made and they would just say, Franco, what's up, man? Thanks for being here. They would just say, can't you just do like you're getting paid to do the job? And I'm like, yeah, but like I'm trying to help you by like asking questions. Is that your pre-workout? Uh, This is just some keto stuff, even though I'm not doing keto. I just like I don't have any flavored powder so I, I had some keto flavored powder stuff so I just dropped that in here sound like a green card I mean a green card is just a visa the other week I was talking to some friends about these fake day in the life videos then I found your videos thanks for being realistic yeah it's I think everyone wants to show the Instagram highlights of their life no one wants to show the part where you have 67 tabs open on stack overflow you know and you're just like I'm gonna get fired because I can't figure this out. Like, no one shows that part. <laughs> E2 gets you two years of initial stay, but yeah, the request for extension with no maximum request limit. So yeah, you can come here for two years and work, but you can just say, can I get another two years and another two years and another two years forever until you get to eight years and then you can get that permanent resident visa and then you can get that citizenship and then welcome aboard. What does keto powder do for you if you're not on keto? I mean, I taste good. Probably nothing. All right, so you got to interview this Thursday. Um, they do training for three months paying $8 an hour, and they'll be paying you 75 k a year. You do training for three months at $8 an hour. Why don't you, like, it sounds like Reviture. That sounds, are you just talking about Reviture? Sounds like, sounds like Reviture. What do you think about work that requires you to travel weekly or monthly? It's up to you. If you have like a wife and kids at home, you probably want to be at home with them, you know. But if you're like that single life and you don't mind and living out of a suitcase, so to speak, then you could be good. What's wrong with C++? I mean, saying that implies there's something wrong with it, but there might not be anything. The one line of code that took two days. Yeah, yeah. It took two days to find that missing semicolon. Y'all ever had that? Oh, it's Reviture. Oh, so it is Reviture. Yeah, Reviture. So here's the thing. You have to sign a two-year contract with Reviture. Um, they pay you minimum wage while they train you for three months. It's not three months. It's actually 10 weeks. 12 weeks would be three months. Um, and then they, they send you off to some part of the country, which could be expensive but you don't know 75k might be a lot 75k might be you know you might get sent to san francisco and they pay you 75k in san francisco 75k is going to be living out of a box with nine other people dude um also if you want to break the contract Reviture calls everyone dude Reviture wants everyone to join like you're paying people minimum wage and you're like they're getting hundreds of thousands of dollars and they're paying you 75k and if you want to break the contract the two-year contract where they can send you anywhere in America, you got to pay $35,000 to break the contract. They control where you live, what you get paid, where you work, what you work on for two years. $35,000 to break it. Now, uh, to me, I would never let someone um, have that much control over my life. Hey, just join the military if you want that, dude. At least you get paid decently. Have you heard about Smooth Stack? Yeah, it's the same thing. Garbage. If you want to find corporate cringe, just find team building exercises. That's true. Potentially a controversial question. What are your thoughts on UBI? I mean, it's like a, it's supposed to be, it's like free thousand dollars to everyone. Right. And that will just fix everyone's homelessness and uh, whatever. Uh, um, personally, I would opt out of it because I want to earn my money. That's all. That's my thought. I don't want a thousand dollars free because it's not free. <laughs> it's never free. If you go to school in Europe and your school is free, it's not free. Somebody's paying for it. All right.
Um, all right, here's company family. I'll link them. I have my notion up, so I'm gonna find any really good cringe stuff here. What's up, GSL? Ever been back in Atlanta? Fan meetup at Magic City. Gerardo. That sounds dope. I might do that. Fix homelessness with 3D printing homes. Yeah, but somebody's gotta pay for that. Somebody's gotta get those resources, you know. I don't know, everything will just inflate. It's like when you raise the minimum wage, everything will just inflate. <laughs> you get $15 an hour now. Well, now the cost of everything has gone up. So it's your purchasing power stays the same, but you just have a higher number on paper. Like, Anyways, happy Friday from our San Diego region. What better way to welcome the weekend? Wait, what? Each region is really really is like family and fun events to socialize discuss projects and i don't want to discuss projects if we're at a family event i don't want it like if do you, do you go to do you go to your family events to talk about work i don't what welcome to south africa yeah my venezuela too let's build company family What? How does this, this just looks like people eating food together. I love my San Diego. Man, dude, these people are brainwashed. Can't you just be like, I had lunch with my coworkers. It's not. A Love the vids. Yo, thanks, dude. Are open offices and crazy overtime only really for dev jobs? No. For sales jobs, they're open offices for sales jobs are a joke. Call centers are cubicle farms and open offices. Um, like open offices and, and corporate cringe is everywhere. It's IT. It's anything that you got to be in an office. And even then, it's still apparently uh, in construction, as you can see. That's just... What 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 the heck is this? Are you serious? Is this where you put your kids cards? This is really sad. This is really really sad. So this is a uh, cubicle wall where your kids I guess you vote on your your kids Christmas card. 11 years old, some 12 year old drew this? Dude, get this kid Get this kid in art school now. But well, he'll probably end up working in this cubicle, though. Because art's not a real job. There's no jobs for artists. Christmas is a family time. So you, you get your postcards from your kids, and then everyone at work votes on them. Of course everyone's going to vote for their own kid. Like, this is not even fair. Look, we can't we can't point attention to their name. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. But, uh, I don't know. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine this. I'd like to open a business, please. I'd like to, I'd like to open a business. What would you, uh, what would you like to name your business? Well, um... It's, it's right there on the paper. Uh, are you sure that you want to name your business this, sir? Yeah. How do you pronounce this? It's Well, it's on the paper. Just, are you sure? It's... <laughs> you know what I want to do when I grow up? I want to open a business called Anal Locks. That sounds... Anal Locks Incorporated. Anal Locks? Anal Logs? I mean... <laughs> Where do you work? I work at Anal Locks. Okay. I'm a, I'm talent resources at Analox Incorporated. Cool. That's neat. This is going. It's definitely going on there. That's a lot to talk about. Oof. 
Thank you for the 10. Just wanted to say thank you for what you helped me with, Garrett. I'm, I don't know what I helped you with, but I'm glad that I did. Yeah, dude. This is like, this is someone's like 25 year old kid, but they just put 12 so that they seem special. What do they do? We need to see what they do. I gotta find this company. Oh, it's a, it's a UK company. So shout out to all my dudes in the UK. Does that mean anything? Apparently it's, it's at least 20 years old. It's at least 20 years old. What do they do? Electronics. Neat. What do you think of Genesis 10 dev program? What's that? Sensor equipment? They need a rebrand. Congratulations. Oh, they have a website about their people. Ooh, we might have stumbled upon some gold. Hold. So you, 25 years and a bouquet of flowers. Wow, that's great. You know, see the thing is, whenever I talk about like work anniversaries, you're not entitled to anything, right? You do your job, you get paid, right? That's the that's the employee me of employee agreement. But people don't get it. Like, just don't give me anything. <laughs> just don't give me anything and say thank you because 25 years and a bouquet of flowers is a slap on the face. It's just like you already pay me. That's enough. Just say thanks. I don't don't pretend like you care more than you do. If I if I left today, you just hire someone else. We all know it. Lifestyle. Ooh, I'm ready for this. What? What do you think of degree apprenticeships? You get paid around 18K. I mean, that's just... Yeah, I mean, work and go to school, that's cool. Someone I, w I worked with got an ashtray for doing 12 years. Ugh. Maybe she received some kind of monetary compensation, um, but they, they won't show that in the photo. I mean, like, I'd be down, you know? Like, if I knew, if I stayed at a company, I was going to get a, a fatty bonus. Dude, I, I'd be all over that. Like, why would they want to hide that? Oh, because they don't want to piss off the other workers that aren't getting it, that will never make it to 25 years. That's why they don't. That's 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 why they don't want to do it. You know. All right, let's go back. We save lives. Yeah. They fired you today, but I received no flowers. Uh, we're just hunting down some corporate cringe right now. In Apple, you get a printed out letter from the CEO that they laminated. Wow. All right, let's go back. Why is LinkedIn so bad? Um, it's just cringeworthy, dude. It's like everyone bragging about how their company's better than your company, and this is why you should work here. It can be good. Like you can use LinkedIn a lot to go creeper mode and find people's like emails and blogs and contact information to help you get a job. But um yeah. What are your tips for getting freelance clients while avoiding LinkedIn and Upwork? Uh probably Facebook ads would be a good one. 
push your brand, Instagram ads, um, remarket to those people, and then calling them, pretending to be a happy customer. Great offsite working session. Yeah, why are we stuck on this? Why is this the only place that's coming up with company family? Am I blind? Like, I feel like there'd be way more. What does corporate cringe mean? It means that grown adults do this. This is what it means. We all gather around and pretend to like each other for the eight hours that we have to be together. All right. Um, so I'll leave that one. We'll do crushing it next. I have to put the, so the reason that the screen is kind of cut off is because I don't want to like, I don't want to give away the LinkedIn account, you know? So just give me a second. How do I start a client project? Do I start from a pre-made template or I made from scratch? Why don't you, you gotta be pragmatic, dude. Like if you can get away with using a template and they think that that template is the greatest thing they've ever seen, use a template. What do you get for making it from scratch? It's gonna take you more time. It's gonna cost them more money. Like just, you gotta be pragmatic, dude. Like here, here's here's the reality of, of running your own business. It's why I have a website with WordPress. Like, I'm not going to build a site from scratch from React to be like, I'm a dev and I self, like, I made my own website with React because I'm a dev and I need to prove a point because of my ego. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. You just, like, do you want it fast? Do you want it done right? Or do you want it cheap? You know? Pick two. You got to be really pragmatic in business. When you're running your own business, when you're freelancing, it's all about pragmatism, getting, doing what works, doing what's the quickest. You got to, you got to balance everything all the time. Rob Wimbley, thanks for being authentic and real. Hey, thanks, Rob. What is this? Annual company meeting. Look. Number three in mortgage loan volume and number one in customer service. They make me look like a rock star every day. I don't see anyone in this photo that looks like a rock star personally but um wow imagine doing like 45 million dollars worth of mortgages and then getting a plaque isn't that nice that's nice <laughs> i did 50 million dollars of mortgages and i got a four dollar plaque but we're crushing it so don't worry about it look it's like hold on this guy looked like Gary V. It's like it's like a young Gary V. Christopher Afternoon. The smiles look forced. That's not a forced smile. Top loan originator. <laughs> wow, that's great. Couldn't you just give him like a 10k bonus check i'd be holding that up to the camera i'd be happy i'd be happy about that like thank you thank you for this ten dollar plaque i'm gonna hang in my office what should they be getting instead yeah like a like a bonus or like nothing like i don't know i i feel like this is just placation this is just give me nothing. I'm not entitled to anything. I already get my I already get my salary. I already get my money and you get the work done. That's it. You don't have to force me to come out to this reward ceremony unless you're going to give it some give me something that's worth my time. You just don't give me anything at all if, unless it's decent because this is trash. This is just this is just a pat on the back, you know? This is a high five. This is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, maybe we'll add this. So this is crushing it. The guy on the right's like, get me out of here. I don't know. I bet this dude owns a company. Nobody wears a yellow suit with that little thing there unless you own the company. 100%. This dude. And, and he's the happiest. 
like authentically. I bet that dude is the CEO. How long are you gonna stream? Maybe an hour or so. I miss anything? Uh, what should one know? Can't pretend H1. Wait, what? I have no like to get an H1B visa. You need a degree to be entered into to even qualify. You have to have a four-year degree. Is this like from the Panini song? Are they dancing around like a hey, Panini? That's what that looks like. But it's probably not. Crushing it. Our Rackspace events team really knows how to execute a kickoff. No. Back into front end, which pays more? Back end pays more money. What? Congratulations to our 2019 rock stars. If you work really hard, we'll put you on the TV in the break room. Doesn't that make you excited? Wow, I know, like, I want to work. I'm going to do 100 hours this week so I can potentially be on the, the break room TV and look at myself and, hey, hey, that's me. Look, they put me on the TV. Great. Wow. Good job, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna put we're gonna put that. That's going on there. I'm not trying to sound like low energy. This just like destroys me inside to look at this stuff. <laughs> rack stars. I got racks. But they probably don't even know what that means. They probably don't even understand what racks are. You know, like I got racks on me. You know that that song? Uh, what is it? I was listening to that at the gym the other day. Uh, racks on me by Reggie Mills. They probably don't actually know what racks are. They probably think like actually like racks that you like put stuff on, not like you know, thousands of dollars. <laughs> we don't want to give away our IP, so we put this little sticker. Imagine, imagine, I can't say it, I can't say it, I can't say it, like, rack stars that don't make racks, that's facts. <laughs> what about full, full stack racks? Imagine being so proud of yourself that you make a post about yourself and talk about yourself in third person wow i would never post anything about myself in third person would you guys i feel like that's like some next level douche not saying this guy's a douche i'm just saying talking about yourself in third person is really weird <laughs> eric is the founder a training placement company like what I do not know what racks are. It's money. Racks are money. They're thousands of dollars. It's one grand. One rack is one grand. What is this? Crushing it. I want a cupcake that says crushing it. Hold on. Wait a minute. He charges 8k per speech. Is that what he said? Hold on. I need to know more. Oh, Doc's speaking fee is $8,750 in addition to $1,500 expenses which covers air, home, event, city ground, meals, and incidentals. <laughs> Plus, client to book and pay for up to two nights of hotel under room, under event room. Bro, I'm gonna start charging nine. Y'all wanna pay nine grand? I'll fly out. What's up? 
Just give me a hotel. It's got to be at least four stars. It needs to have a workout room. Like, why even, why even run a business when you can just get paid to talk about running a business? Do people pay this? Are you serious? It's your boy with the deep voice but younger than you. What's up, Metro? Josh, you watch Dan Peanut? Uh, he's all right. Eric Doc. Okay. This looks like generic developer stock photo, does it not? I feel like it does. Why don't you charge 8K per stream? Because I'm not a douche. Oh, look. Look who it is. What does he sell? He doesn't sell anything. He, t he, he tells you how to run. I don't know. We got to go back. That's how important it was. Because don't, we don't remember. In his signature high energy, no holds barred, entertaining style. Entertaining in quotes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Entertaining in quotes. Shows you people up. Eight actionable principles. Bro, I can come up with a list of eight actionable principles. In, focusing on your people's transition, embracing your people's in, innate irrational nature, and including your people in the OCM's initiative, story crafting, planning, and measurement. Like, what are we reading? I don't even know what I'm saying out loud. Like, I'm hearing English, but I'm not understanding what is coming out. Doc only delivers 20 keynotes a year. Oh, so they're doing classic marketing of you better pay now or he might not be able to fit you. Ten K for a rando to come talk. Yep. Who wants to who wants me to come out? He's a stand up comedian. Yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> that's jokes. Take that somewhere else. <laughs> Let me zoom out. Hmm. Should we look up hashtag millennials? What is this? Oh, you know what would be good would be new home. That subconsciously like, oof. So he makes 160K per year just doing keynotes. You call it keynotes, but you can just call it standing on a stage telling people how to be okay with being themselves. I imagine that's what he does in his uh, quote entertaining style. Sorry, my bad. How's your day? Oh, dude, I'm good, man. I'm good. Stand-ups are cheaper than that. He better be funny. That's facts. I'll give you a jargon solution. You give me 10K. That way you want me to come back next year when you didn't fully understand what I left you with the year prior because I was speaking so much corporate jargon. Perfect. What do you think about people who actually like these types of companies? Uh, good for them, I guess. They somehow managed to do it. <laughs> I can't. I see through it. Let's look up new home. I'm curious. New home. It's going to be either real estate or people moving offices. It's And when a company calls their office their new home, like that, technically that's subconsciously kind of getting you. It's like when a company calls you company family, this would be making your office feel like home and the office should never feel like home ever. You should never have that unless you like work at home. But even then, you're working at home. So that's a plus. Any advice on pitching your tech startup to investors? Yeah, you need a you need a what's known as a uh, a deck, a white paper, and a deck that shows how many users you have, what problem you're solving, your plan to make money. Basically, what's up, Anthony? I think Gary V charges like 50k an hour or 100k an hour to come speak. Like, like what? 
Let me be a speaker. Who wants to hire me to come speak? Why even make videos anymore? When you could just get paid to tell people what they already know. But they need that extra reinforcement to actually take action. Oh, so this is literally just a bunch of real estate agents selling a new home. Wow, okay. I don't know what I expected. Alright, we're doing millennials. Gosh, what's up with the job titles? Job title is just a way for a company to pay you. Wait, did I do hashtag hashtag millennials? That's a millennial thing to do. Why can't I find re just like... Gary V says he charges 180 for one to two hours of speech. Yo, let me, let me like... <laughs> okay, let me try and do that. I, I, I can say what he says. I just don't have his brand. Um, is there not a hashtag? Why does it come up with double hashtag? What? I don't want... Why does this even come up? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Do you see this? This is how you match the job. Millennials is a checkbox. Wait, what? They want to take advantage of you? Are you serious? How is this skill set? Millennials. Are you seeing this? Are you are you are you reading this too? This is a requirement for a job to be a millennial. How is that not ageism and discrimination in a post? What? Is this real? Seniority level, entry level. Cause you gotta be a millennial. What? Are you serious? What YouTube channels you enjoy watching? Um, I watch a lot of like how to make better video stuff or uh, the Corridor Crew. I'm uh, watching a lot of Matt Guthmiller lately. I'm an expert millennial, bro. I'm I can be a Zoomer. How much you pay? I'm a millennial though. I'm not a Zoomer. Alright, uh, well this is going in there. How do I... Can I open this in a new page? How you match. Millennials. Oh, you about to get roasted. That doesn't seem legal. Does that seem legal to you? Senior millennials overqualified. True. Being a millennial is a skill. I wonder if there's other ones. So this is why it comes up. Are you serious? Investments. Millennials. I'm sorry, but those two words don't go hand in hand. <laughs> when are you moving to LA to become a full-time vlogger? I don't really want to live in California. Let me just control F millennial. Let's see where we find it. Fortune 100, best place for millennials. Oh, that sounds terrible. Evolution is a, is a skill, that's true. How did I not notice that? Oh, what? wait, what, this is volunteer. So you don't even get paid? So you gotta be a millennial to not get paid. Bro, they really do know their target audience. Why be an intern when you can be an unpaid intern? That makes sense, right? Ooh, this one's getting roasted too. Being a millennial is a skill. Seems reasonable. What's wrong with California? It's expensive. I don't think there's anything wrong with California. I, I think it's a pretty chill place to be. Uh, there's just certain ways they run the state that 
I would rather go to a different state. Um, invest in millennials. Entry level HR assistant. Hey, any HR in the chat? Like HR does nothing. So what does the entry level HR do? Even more nothing. Like what? I uh, just kidding. I actually know HR doesn't do anything. HR is actually responsible for hiring and firing, and um, posting jobs that they don't know anything about. Uh. All right. Well, if you guys want a job where you can get paid to do your homework, this is probably the job for you. Here, let me let me link it. There you go. Get paid forty five k to assist HR, which sounds like you get paid to do nothing, right? <laughs> I agree with your opinion on California. Hmm. Resident success lead. What does that mean? Okay. Hold on. We're going to learn more about their team. I want to know more about your team. Do I click it? Do we watch it? At home together. Recruiting. Do we, do we watch it? Is this the waiting music from your video? It sure is. This is exactly that. Here, I'll watch it first, but I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute the audio so you don't hear it because I don't want to get demonetized. If it's playing a song that I think, then I'll uh, like. If it's not gonna get me demonetized, all right. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna mute the output audio for you guys. Just give me a sec. It sounds like, so far it sounds like generic corporate inspirational music. I feel revalued and respected and excited. Look at those meeting rooms. Wow. Amazing. Everyone is excited and passionate about what we're building here at Bungalow. That's what they said. I don't know. How do you know that? I feel like everyone says that when they have bills and need a job. He says, come as you are. Hmm. Oh, this guy said they're fired up to go out there and change the world. All right, everybody, we got to draw a generic chart and we got to, why is this so funny? Why is this chart funny? Hmm. Have you, have they ever heard of a thing called contrast? That's where you like, you see how f flat this image is? It's just like, what? That was neat. Let's see if they got anything else. Oh, comments are turned off. Ooh, we know it's good. We know it's good then. Wait, this is literally the same. This is the same video. This is just a shorter version. Wait, let's go back. Hmm. 
Hmm. Bungalow. All right, so these are just advertisements. You can tell that these are advertised. Like, I bet if we click on this video right here, we'll see that it has 200,000 views, but it has like maybe 10 likes. And that's how you know it's been pushed in people's ads. Because no one ever, you can't like an ad unless you click on it and then find the video. But usually when you click on an ad, it takes you to buy something. Let's look. <laughs> yeah, comments are turned off. Likes, dislikes are turned off. Seems a little sketch. So apparently, apparently this house here um, is is something that she bought, and it's I don't I don't know what they're doing. I, we got off track. We're off track. We got to go back. We're going back. Thanks for thanks for making my work day better, <laughs> dude. I'm glad it helps. Sending some of that good cringe. Kudos, living our values. Oof, oof, those are all good. Caroline, let me copy that. Adding to Notion right now. Hmm. All right. For someone who doesn't like corporations, you're pretty obsessed with them. Dude, I like, I always get a kick out of, uh, Corporations. Everyone's afraid to say it because they'll lose their job. Hmm. Tips on starting my business? It's too vague. I can't answer. Love the content. What are your thoughts on working as a BA or a PM? Project manager would be good. Or product manager would be good. Would you recommend these career? I mean, don't be a product manager before you're a dev. Like the most annoying thing in the world as a dev is to be managed by someone who doesn't know what you can and cannot do. That's probably like when you have a, when you have a product manager, ooh, wait, that's the wrong one. When you have a product manager that tells devs how to work, but that has never dev a day in their life. And then you're like, look, we can't do this. It's like, yes, I know visually it looks like we're taking this button and we're moving the button from left to right, the side of the page. But actually that requires a rework of how all this goes together. And the product manager is like, well, the, the customer, the, the customer needs it and you have to get it done. And you're like, that's not how this works. So it's really hard to be a good product manager without being a dev because you're gonna, t you, you're just not gonna understand what they can and cannot do realistically. They want you to just change this thing. And you're like, well, I'm going to need two weeks. And they're going to be like, well, but the customer need, like I already promised the customer it's tomorrow. It's, wait, wait, hold on. You already promised the customer that this would be done in a day without consulting me. Are you, are you serious? That's how it really goes. I sent some cringe to the DMs looking. Is this YouTube? All right, let me Google it. Please hold. <laughs> yeah, keep your friends close, enemies closer. Exactly. Oh, what is this? All right, hold on. I'm gonna mute the audio for a second. I don't wanna get demonetized while I listen to this cringe video. Someone's breathing into the microphone right now. <sighs> Are you serious? I can't tell if it's copyright music or not. Oh no. Okay, all right, I think we're, we might be safe. But let me play my music on top of it so that it doesn't get demonetized. Here we go. You hear the breathing? Of course it doesn't want to play. Squire Group Marketing. 
Take one. Coming to work every... Why is this not working now? Does it need to be like... Day in the marketing department, it's like going and seeing your family every day. This is passionate people who love what they do. You have people who are experts in creative, who can design the artwork. People who are experts in marketing from digital to direct mail, as well as public relations, who love working with each other. And we really love helping our franchisees. We'll give you a marketing plan that's laid out for you for an entire year. And all you have to do is follow it step by step to actually implement your marketing. We build out campaigns for the brand. These can contain direct mail pieces, flyers, leave behinds, web materials, but also manuals to show the franchisee the best way to use these materials in their local market. <laughs> that was very awkward. We write the content that goes on the postcard or we write the content that goes in an email. So you guys just have to plug in your phone number, your what? web address. What we do in marketing that gives owners peace of mind is really stay ahead this looks of miserable. the industry. Oh my and god. Know Wait. Oh no. Big wins, everybody. Have you ever been in a meeting like this? This is this is why would they leave this in? This is this is what everyone's face looks like in a meeting that they don't want to be in. Like you see this? That's that's someone who doesn't want to be in a in a Do they look passionate? This whole video is about passion. Does do these people look does this guy look passionate? Does this guy look passionate? Oh no. Two songs playing. Yeah, that's how you get around the demonetization. <laughs> you mix the songs together. <laughs> Wow. Big wins, everybody. What are they looking at? Clearly, this. Industry and know what is changing in the industry to make sure our. Are we watching someone Google something right now? are out there, number one online. A lot of us are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Where's the I'm looking for phones like under a desk. Do you see any? I feel like this guy's on his phone. Does that feel like look like we they just made a big win. Does that look like they just made a big win? That doesn't look like someone who made a big win. This looks like someone who made a big win for the CEO and not themselves. Because if it was an actual win, you'd think they'd be excited, right? But they're not getting anything out of it. Oh no. Former small business owner. So we use that same level of expertise as former small business owners into local planning for their business. I work on things such as local SEO, which is bringing more people to a local website. For the four brands that I serve, I do a three-prong approach. Two of those are franchisee-facing, one is public. The franchisee-facing is our monthly e-newsletters that are sent out to franchisees. The quarterly magazines, and Who then reads the magazines? facing blogs, which are used to help drive traffic to their what local you, websites, as well as their social media. The last thing you want to worry about is answering that call when you're trying to talk to a customer. Our preferred third-party vendors handle calls 24-7, 365 days a year, allowing you to focus on other areas of your business. A lot of owners will say, I'm not a marketer, I don't know about all this stuff. And Why are you okay. using dark mode? Have uh, this is not my main account. We're here to support them. Good. We had good thought, a good thought. Hold on. Years ago, where we were using Instagram right. as a platform for owners to add images to their website, and teaching the owners how to do this and watching them get excited was just really cool, and it was really rewarding. I didn't like it. Let's do that again. Hold on. <laughs> you see how I fake would this is? Dry group marketing as dedicated, adaptive, fun. Innovative. All right, you get one word, and you get one word, and you get one word, and you're going to get the word fun. Okay, and you say adaptive, and you say innovative, and everyone gets one word, so you get one take, so say it excited. You're going to be put on our YouTube channel. Love. Helpful. Talented. Extraordinary. Focused. Inspirational. We have an amazingly talented team here at the Dwyer Group. I hate they when they say amazingly talented. That that like it triggers my it triggered me timbers, dude. Like I can't like people work hard to be good at what they do. They're not just naturally talented. And so when you just dismiss someone's hard work as talent, it triggers me. Well, we have talented. No, these people worked hard. Okay, you should say we have a lot of hard workers. 
people that are good at what they do here. Don't say, well, just talented. It just triggers me. Focused on innovating and understanding the complexities of the marketing landscape every day. The complexities day of the marketing of landscape. That's why we get up every morning. That's what inspires us. It's the purpose and the reason that we're here. Hold on. I want to. Let's take. Hold on, this is going to the cringe. I'm adding this to cart. Hold on. Add to cart. Hey, yo. Uh, good find on the cringe. Good find on the cringe. If you got some more YouTube cringe you'd like me to look at, uh, hit me up on the DMs. Mega cringe. That's an easy add to cart. Okay. Welcome to the Dwyer Group campus. Come on in. What? The Dwyer Group campus is situated. I feel like we're watching a really low budget River, travel beautiful Cameron channel Park show Cameron that plays Park during City the day that no one Waco, watches. Texas. Don Dwyer had visions of what the campus would look like as early what? as the 70s. But the plans that would ultimately what? become the first building, known as the Rainbow Building, what? weren't officially drawn up until 1983. As the original, the Rainbow Building houses the executive offices, which are located fittingly above the original code of values. What? The executive boardroom executive is not only boardroom. a meeting space, but also. Yeah, look at all these leather chairs. Why don't you just put? Why don't you just put a leather couch in there? Make sure the leather couch is black. Since all the employees are kidding, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Definite dislike, though. Oof. See, like this is the game that you gotta play on YouTube. You know, like all these leather chairs. Just you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You like. Anyways. Has a built-in library for employees of the Dwyer Group to check out books that provide both professional and personal enrichment. Wait, what? Hold on. That seems a little bit biased. This seems really biased. Like, you see any? Y'all you, see any like trigger books in here? Anything that would be offensive? The ultimate question: Why is that one? Like, Jim, Jim Ron, Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn's all right. He's pretty motivational. <laughs> enrichment downstairs are the operations and support teams for both rainbow international and the That's grounds five guys. minutes the These grounds teams guys include everyone what? from the president to the franchise consultants and the pr specialist for the brand this looks like someone's house but they have carpet this is 2012 what was that green book how to quit was it we go back how to quit I don't see it I see target success I, I can't it's only 720 potato resolution does that say training something something year ever hmm teams include everyone from the president to the franchise consultants and the PR specialists for the brands. The Riverview building houses How the How many buildings you need for like 10 people that work here? of the Dwyer Group companies, including Mr. Reuter, Mr. Electric, Mr. What? Appliance, and Glass Doctor. Pro Trade Net also stays busy here looking for opportunities. God, look at this office. What if you had to do this for 45 years of your life? You had to like. What if you had to wake up to come to an office like this every day? I had to. But I mean, at least I guess he has a room with a door. I guess that's, oh my god. To leverage our buying power to save our franchisees money on items they need to run their business, our human resources team takes care of our associates here at the home office, and our administration team ensures the smooth daily operations of the Dwyer Group. The legal department, is also like situated in Riverview, strange music. keeps our business and associates safe when it comes to franchise law. The Dwyer Group was running out of space in its Boring main offices, cringe, so the Lone Star no, Lodge was erected like in 2003. Today, the Lone Star Lodge accommodates the franchise development team and is where future franchisees get their first insider's look at the Dwyer Group mm. during orientation sessions that are held several times each month. So you the can buy a franchise from these people. basic training happens. Soon after you become a franchisee, you will spend a week of training here 
learning all the systems and tools to help you run your new franchise. Oh, they do got leather couches. We also They're use just not this black. as our meeting area for company-wide meetings. Just to the left of the training the lodge is me. where the AirServe support team is. Situated behind the training <laughs> lodge is Jack's house. Every training yeah, this is like a help I fall and I can't get up commercial. Floods Jack's house and our newest franchisees restore it. What? In one room, a fire is lit, allowing franchisees to learn the technique for wiping down walls to return Wait, wait, wait. Did she say learn the technique for wiping down walls? How do you, how, how does wiping on a wall have a special technique? What, what, am I missing something here? To their former glory. Our IT team. Um, imagine like, can you imagine having an innovative idea, like an actually innovative idea at this company and trying to talk to someone about it? I feel like they. supports our network and phone systems the most excited thing in this office is probably this flower right here <laughs> wow hmm. ensuring that we are able to communicate with our franchisees on a daily basis upstairs from jack's house is the dwyer group marketing team each marketing manager is that phone on a is somebody gonna steal the phone yo i used to used to think these things were cool in like first grade i was like the janitor have one for all his keys but they they have this because they think that you're gonna lose the phone are you serious oh is that just for phone cord well you just not you're not gonna put the phone back okay is dedicated to one of our seven companies. They work closely with their franchisees to develop and implement marketing plans for their businesses. The creative team works with the marketing manager to deliver effective marketing pieces. Effective marketing. Eff effective marketing. Effective. Effective marketing. Effective. What? What? That looks like. <laughs> okay. This is for all of our franchisees. The Dwyer Group is continuously growing, and we again ran out of space in 2011. The outpost became the new home to our Zware and accounting teams. Here you'll find Zware What do they do? Is this like a maintaining? and improving the software platform that many of our franchisees use. And how does this office look? At least they got like personal cubicles. Like most cubicles are cut short these days so that you can look in. The help desk that supports those users. Our accounting team is kept busy Doesn't this look like office space the records. movies? The mail center facilitates all incoming and outgoing packages it's and like manages a theme all park. office communication on a daily basis. Glass Doctor University Training Center Glass Doctor is the University. only one of its kind Give in the industry. Break. Do I get a it degree? It is located less than 10 minutes away from campus and was acquired to meet the needs of technical training. What is this? Is this work or school? Glass Doctor franchisees spend the majority of their week in both the classroom and hands-on training. The Grounds Guys Training Center is the most recent addition oh to the Dwyer Group campus. Here, franchisees are provided professional training to help allow them to deliver industry-leading lawn care it's a 2012 and video. solutions to large commercial yeah, but it's like and residential customers. It's Just like to the right of the training lodge is the office for Get Noticed by Worldwide Supply. Wait, what? Our franchisees can Hold own on. promotional items, uniforms, Hats they 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 sell their swag noticed. to you. You can even find baby clothes embroidered with our logos for our future franchisees. You can even dress your babies up in our logos to give free advertisement. That's what she just said. We look forward to having the opportunity to show you around the Dwyer Group campus in person. You guys. Well, if you're interested in buying any of these franchises, you can go study at their university.
like I know it's too, it's like this looks like 1995, right? Like y'all remember like Sarah Brown on the Travel Channel? That was her name, right? Sarah Brown, I think. That's what and she made like videos in like 19 This looks like something I watched when I was like in elementary school when we were like learning about the world. <laughs> Like what, what? No one's wearing this in 2012, okay? It wasn't that long ago. Well, yo, good find. Good find for sure. Good find. A project went viral in the crypto sphere yesterday. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Congrats. I hope I hope it keeps going. Um, let me Okay. What? Well, I think I think we know how this company likes to chill. This does not seem like it would be a, a very good thing to do in uh, 2020. At least with this, you know, not this thumbnail. Not like it, yeah, you know, thanks to the veterans, that's, that's okay, but like this doesn't, you know? You know what I'm saying? Mr. Rooter and you. This looks like, this is like discount. This is like discount Ben Affleck, right? I don't know. Oh, hold on. I gotta go get my contacts. Uh, please hold. I think the delivery guy's here. I'll leave you with some music. One moment. Uh, Dory, congrats. All right, we're back. All right, what other hashtags were we going for here? Let's see. Kudos, living our values. Ooh, that, that that one sounds good. That was fast, yeah. Had to get my contacts. UPS guy came early. have what you need to win what does that mean I was surprised to be awarded with living our values award couldn't they just give you money instead I think I put this in my corporate cringe I remember looking at this with my dad actually yeah this is a uh, Wait, yeah, no, I, okay, wait. Are they writing the alphabet right now? 
What? Are you serious? All right, so make sure you do your ABCs and write your name. Are you serious? I don't know. I don't really know what to say. But that's neat, I guess. Can I just go home? You don't even get your own whiteboard. You gotta share it. Doesn't this like layout look like a kindergarten room? Like with the little cubbies? How about some content targeting MLMs? Uh, they have more money, like they could sue me, you know, like, and they do. So like, you know. Well, all right, I'll add this. I think I'm just gonna make a corporate cringe video where I don't give any commentary. And I just let you stare at the photo and really, really look into what's going on. Just like a non-commentary and I'm just like, here's what's next. What's wrong with this photo? Why do they do this? Pretty soon they'll be wearing diapers. <laughs> that's, that's, bold. that's bold to say. I, okay, yesterday I had the pleasure of working on a social innovation strategy with a group of compassionate and knowledgeable, knowledgeable individuals around the importance of truth and reconciliation commission call to action number 92. What did I say? What a great reminder of the collective impact that can follow when we work as a team across all sectors. What? People get paid to do that. Like, like companies need to hire me. I'll tell them what's up. They probably lose a lot of employees, though. Oh, hold on, I gotta turn music back up. All right, there you go. We don't just talk about culture, we live it. We had our annual offsite. Who can say they have fun at work? I do. I have super, I have a lot of fun at work. <laughs> Cross-functional and diverse team. Team 14 crushed the challenge. And no pressure when the CEO is on your team. Yeah, okay. I'm sure to spot my mom one of these corporate cringe selfies. <laughs> How much cringe did I miss? Uh, you, yeah, you missed a good portion of it. Is this Walmart? I thought that was the Walmart logo. Wow. This is kind of condescending, don't you think? Financial well-being can have a big impact on people's overall mental health. Therefore, during the biggest spending season of the year, we thought it would be a timely thing to host a lunch and learn session on for our associates to gain top tips on how to manage money now and in the future. All right, here's what you do. You don't spend more money than you make, and you pay off your credit cards every month, so you build your credit up. 
This is really condescending. This is really, really condescending. Like, you're just assuming that the people that work for you don't know how to manage money. Just because they, just because you have a bunch of money that's invested, doesn't mean that your employees, like, this is really lame. Ugh. Fourth day of the five day tour to introduce our new CEO to the business. What? Hmm. That's neat, I guess. Imagine, like, so this guy's CEO, right? Imagine being these people that have been working at the company for, like, 50 years and then having to, like, shake hands with some guy that's, like, 30 years younger than you, getting paid 400 times more than you. It must feel pretty good. Probably feels really good. Some some kid some kid telling you if you can or can't pay your mortgage. Probably feels real good. Can you do an escape from time? I don't even own that game. Alright. Uh, employee of the month. That sounds mega cringe. <laughs> Just use hand sanitizer after you shake their hands. <laughs> That's so man. That's so messed up. Yo, that's that's how to be a pro douche CEO. You shake shake hands with everyone that you work with, and after every person you shake hands with, you're just like, wipe your hands. Employee of the month, and uh, so here's the thing with employee of the month. Oh, certificate of appreciation. All right, look, certificate of appreciation will not pay my mortgage. It's not even named. It's not even labeled. So they just bought a hundred of these. Just like. And they all say employee of the month. Does this work? I don't know. What undergrad degrees are actually useful? Uh, like civil engineering would be good. Uh, medical. Anything in the medical field is pretty good. That's about it. Like a certain engineering's are computer science, not really now. All right, hold on. I'll put this in the list. No name on the trophy, yeah, because you they just bought a hundred of them from Alibaba Express, and the, and then they'll just give the same one. Or maybe they take that away from you. I've heard of companies that take the employee of the month trophy away from that employee when their when their month is over and they give it to the new one. So you don't even get to keep it. What is that? A I don't know what that is. A flower maybe? It's pretty mega cringe. Oh, see, this is something that this is what we're talking about. Wait, why is it zooming out? I zoomed in. Well, whatever. It's 500 bucks. So this is how you do it right here. Congratulations to Miner of the Month. Extra paycheck. 500 buckaroos. This is how you do it. This is how you reward your employees. You help them out financially. If you're going to reward them, give them something they can use. You can't use a trophy for anything. 
This is what you need. This is so th good. Good work. You know, I think Turner Mining Group. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. That's my, this might be the first time I've ever found something decent on LinkedIn. Good stuff. Hold on, we should, I'm gonna add this to the list. Just to mix things up. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, what's next? What should they get? This is what you should get. Stuff like this. Not this, right? This this laminated certificate is, is, is nothing, right? Uh, let me get one of these laminated. Like, what does this do? Can I get that? Let me get an extra 500 check. Like, oh, it's a star. Wow. Great work. <laughs> what? What is this? Wow, they even plaster your name on the side of the building. What is it? What is he holding? What is he holding? I don't know what that is. What is this? Oh man, this is not good. Yeah, giving your employees means you respect, yeah, like when you give them money, you respect their time for sure. Like this is, I'm honored to be watching the CEO of Google, Apple, Microsoft, and LinkedIn. Do you have a new account on LinkedIn? Uh, of course I do. <laughs> Absolutely I do. I'm not allowed to make an account on LinkedIn, but that doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to use other people's accounts on LinkedIn. So, you know. A cake. Having a curious mind is one of our core values. Oh no. So you got a cake on your birthday. Okay. Congratulations. Wait, what? I think it's like one of the... I think it's one of the lowest level forms of appreciation when the company doesn't even do anything. They just post you. They just post you on LinkedIn as a picture, right? It's like taking a picture of your friend and putting putting them on Instagram and saying, look at, look, my friend of the month. Like, if you work really hard and over 100 hours a week, you can have a picture on our LinkedIn page. <laughs> We're, oh, come on is a positive and uplifting team member, is willing to assist wherever he can on any size project. Okay. Oh, it's laminated. Look at that bad boy. That's laminated right there. Is that money? Hopefully that's money or a gift card. What does this do? What are you going to do with this? Would you ever would you ever like put this on your desk at home? I would just throw it in the trash. Like this doesn't this doesn't like this is not an extra car payment. It's like it's nothing. This is nothing. It's just a piece of plastic. I feel like I just throw it away. What? Wow, yeah, okay, so we were talking. Oh, screen isn't fully, I'm bad, I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm trash. Look, this, this is what I was looking at, my bad. Why didn't somebody say something? New member. Yo, what's up? Wow, 
Welcome aboard, Jordan, Jordanovsky. Privet. So here, here's the picture of uh, of a trophy that's passed around the office. So you don't you don't even get to keep it. So they have one trophy for the entire team, and then when it's if if you get it, you get to have it for that month. That's literally glass. Nah, that's too expensive. That's this is probably just plastic. Made it to the stream. Yo, thanks for being here. Employee of the month. This isn't... Why is this a video? This is literally what you get at a swim meet. What? Do they have like different levels? Employee of the month for the first time in a year. For the second time in a year. Employee of the month for the third time. Oh, so you level up. They got that, they got that RPG gamification so you get copper and then silver and then gold you can level up your employee of the month level all the russians probably suddenly paying attention yeah uh spasiba for being here i hope that what you're watching is enjoyable i don't know how to say that and, and i only know how to say good in russian which is harsh show right i can't read cyrillic though Later, Josh. No more cubicle life for the. All right, congrats, dude. You're free. Go live. Go live. Isn't hey? Wait, is this the same company? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So there's this one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Did this is the same thing? Okay, yeah, see? It is the same company. Wow, must you must feel real special. You don't even you, Wow, must must feel good to get the same award. Must feel real good. You must feel real unique. And doesn't even say their name on it. Just just employee of the... Here, look. Hold on. Make sure I don't have anything on here that's going to get me. Look. At, look. Hold on. Isn't that great? You just get the same piece of plastic. That's amazing. No name, nothing. They can't be bothered to put your name on it. That's too much work. That's great. That's great. What is this? Is that just alcohol? Yo. Introducing our employee of the month, assistant project manager, your boy.
It's laminated, guys. If we all look sideways, we can... In recognition of winning good business, three new clients. Wow, that's amazing. That's great. You got us three new clients, which brought us $100,000. But you get a laminated certificate. Josh, our letter of recommendation, any good? I mean, you can... It doesn't really mean anything because you can just write your own, recommend yourself from different people, you know? So, like, you got to prove that it was from somebody. Uh, what's your opinion on LinkedIn learning? Uh, it's trash. It's trash. I'd rather just... There's a million people that are willing to sell you courses. And, yeah. Apply to a big tech... Oh, thank you for the five, by the way. I've, I've, I personally wouldn't waste money on LinkedIn learning. Uh, there's so many other places. Like, Linda is one, you know, like... There's so many other places. Boss gets a bonus, so you get a laminated paper. That's correct. Um, applied to a big tech company last week, but I haven't heard back from them. Should I call their office and ask HR email? Check LinkedIn, but no email. Uh, go to Hunter.io and type in their name, and you'll find her email, 100%. Imagine like so this this looks like a nice like family oriented picture, but imagine if you wanted to be employee of the month. Like 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 what if this guy wanted to be employee of the month? You know? But someone else got it. I feel like there'd be some jealousy there. Linda is LinkedIn? Oh god. Uh yeah, so just don't use Linda then. If you had employees, how would you reward your employees besides giving them money? Yeah, I mean, would you announce it on a wider forum? No, dude. I, no, I wouldn't. I would just give them money and be like, hey, man, I appreciate you. You made me more money, so here's more money for you. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Looks like a Taekwondo trophy. You're right. It does. It does kind of look like that. For outstanding contribution towards the development, <laughs> you should just you should just like rewrite this. For the outstanding contribution of money towards our company, that's what it should say. All right, new new hashtag, new hashtag. Work hard, play hard sounds good. No, 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 no. Maybe careers with purpose. I don't know if she's still here, but let's try that one. How to prepare for an interview. Please tell me more. Nope. Oh, it's unlisted, so you know it's about to be good. You don't need to know everything about the business, but you should at least be aware of what we do and where this role would fit within the organization. You can find much of this information on our website, but we'd also recommend a Google search, Glassdoor, and LinkedIn. Whilst you're there, do some research on who you're meeting. What's their background, and is there something there that you can relate to? Secondly, know your CV. Be prepared to talk about your experience. However, make it relevant to the role you're applying for. Keep it concise and punchy. The job description or advert can help give you focus on what to pull out from your experience. Be ready to talk about why you're I feel like all this stuff is how it fits with your career aspirations and in what ways you're qualified to do it. Also think about where the development oh. areas may go on target was that it should be succinct. Action is the meat of Imagine your answer. So explain using a microphone that's not on the camera. I don't think they've ever heard of that. I 
highlighting your personal contributions, even if a project is group-based, but don't be scared to contextualise and explain the work conducted by the wider team too. Result. Explain the result of your actions. The results will be particularly impactful if they're measurable, so quantify what? using tangible figures. Alright, alright, I'm lost. I got nothing. I, I thought I was going to be good. It's it's not. Back, going back. What, are, what am I looking? Oh, careers with purpose. That's the hashtag that we're on right now. Mm. Now, it, it's always been told to me that you shouldn't. I don't know. I guess if your business is religion, then you then you talk about religion at at work. Hmm. Cybersecurity. Student employability officer. What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you do? The song is called What We Didn't Do at Particle House. Disruptive ideas. Okay. All right, sure. Sounds good. Sounds good, my guy. Choose a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I love what I do, but I, it still feels like work sometimes. Alright, new hashtag. Your second home. Oh no. What? What is this? What is this? Wait. At some point, from our leaders to those leading, it is important to allow your associates to effectively communicate their thoughts. Otherwise, it becomes an unstable environment where you... Wait, what? And I am thinking neither are you... Like, Does this make sense? I feel like this, is, this English doesn't make sense. It's the person who makes sure students can get employed at the... Yeah, but that's not what they actually do. Student employability officers... No. That makes no sense. I feel like I, I'm reading this, but it's not. Why is uh, hashtag your second home exists? Your second home is not work. What are you What are you talking about? Well, that was it for that one. Kudos. Oh no, that sounds mega cringe. Hashtag kudos. Here we go. What? Hmm. I don't know. This is this was me. Like if I was an employee, I would be I would be this guy in the back. Like this was me. When I had to go to meetings, I sit in the back, cross my arms, doze off cuz I do, I don't care. I just don't care. Blood, sweat and oil. Tell that to Elon Musk, my dude. I don't know. I feel like this, I'm not the only one. But that yeah.
What is this? That's a that's a crayon. As we begin each class, it is always a good idea to take a step back and assess the situation before proceeding. Why are you telling me what my mom told me when I was three years old? I don't get it. Is this like a school? Are you what do you teach? Is, are you a teacher? Must be like some class. Think before you do something. Right, you guys ever heard of that phrase, think before you do something? Well, here's a really complicated way to say it. It's always a good idea to take a step back and assess the situation before proceeding. Identify potential hazards, implement preventative measures, and open the conversation around immediate action plans in the event of an unexpected, less than desirable occurrence. Now, just me thinking here out loud, but maybe you could say, maybe you should think about this before you do something. What? what? Why even make a post? Because you want to have a selfie? Is that what it is? Okay. Pyramid strong. What? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think I'm gonna go eat some food because it's two o'clock and I'm really hungry. I'm so hungry. Um, but thanks for being here, guys. Uh, next stream, I'm probably gonna be calling up some airplane people. I'm gonna do a live. I'm gonna call up. I'm gonna call up some airplane people, and I'm gonna ask if I can document my pilot journey. I'm gonna do it on stream. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. If you enjoyed it, maybe hit thumbs up before you. Head out. What tag was that? Um, that was hashtag kudos. Yeah, I'm gonna call up some uh, flight schools around, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I'm a YouTuber. I want to document this. Can I get that YouTube discount?" <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe that'll work. I'm at the point where I'm almost at the point where I can be like, I have a quarter of a million subscribers. That might sound good, right? But, um, yeah, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go get some food. I got some other things I need to do today, but yeah, I'll see you. I, I'm thinking about making a hater video tomorrow because it's, I got some pretty good comments lately. If you go, you can go see on my Instagram, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to head out. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, I'll leave you with this, with this song here. And uh, if you just hit thumbs up before you head out, I'd appreciate it. Bye, guys. See you uh, on Thursday in the live stream.